What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here, bringing you some more Tekken news. So basically some stuff went down, that stuff being Faded Retribution was officially released in Japan on arcades. I mean, yeah we've seen Faded Retribution for a while, like in tournaments and stuff, like we have the updates specifically for tournaments, but now it's officially in Japanese arcades and we've, get, uh, we've been getting lots of new amazing information, like a new final boss for the arcade mode. It is no longer Kazumi, it is now Goki, or Akuma, in America. Uh, this is kind of odd, I mean, because Devil Kazumi, we, we've only seen her in, like, Vanilla Tekken 7. I don't know if she'll be a playable character. I mean, she might in the finished product, but I don't know. So I'm wondering if, like, they changed the final boss to Akuma. What will happen with Kazumi, and, or Devil Kazumi? I mean, is she just going to be, like, an arcade-exclusive character? Like, the only way you can fight her is if you play Vanilla Tekken 7? But I guess I'll find out. I mean, I don't mind that much. It's just another devil character, whatever. And more new info. As you noticed, in Faded Retribution, some of the characters got different costumes than Vanilla Tekken 7. But as it turns out, you can actually switch between the updated costumes and the old ones and switch their alternate colors too, depending on which button you press. So it's good to know that the old costumes are still there, along with the new costumes. So that I, I think that's a very good thing that they added in. So yeah, and I'll let you know when we have more news on Tekken 7. Faded Retribution, because Vanilla Tekken 7 is pretty much done by now. See you next time.